One powerful feature often overlooked in the Gmail inbox is the tasks section. I'm going to show you today how to use tasks powerfully within your inbox, with emails, and also with your Google Calendar. Welcome to the Handy Hudsonite, where I feature tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get updated when my videos go up. I'm going to focus in on Google Tasks today, and Google has integrated these very seamlessly within the Gmail inbox. So you can see my inbox open here, and I'm going to show you how to easily add an email as a task. Now we have a lot of emails coming in and out of our inboxes, many of which require a response, require an action. So for example, let's look at one of the emails here. It doesn't really matter which one. We will focus here on this upload. I will drag, all you have to do is drag it over here to the task box, drop it in, it's there. And one nice feature of this is if you click on that, it opens up the email and the contents of it so you can look at it, see the details. Now you may not want this title in your task bar for this particular task. So all you have to do is click here on this pencil and we can change the title. So we can say watch simple ideas, new video. And if you want to add in some details to it, top five Chrome secrets. And be sure to check out his new video here. I'll put a link in the description for this, for simple ideas for you channel. Okay, so down here, we can classify this as under a particular task list. And I'll show you a minute here how to create a new list. For now, we'll just keep it under the default My Tasks. Let's add a date and a time. Let's say April 18th, and you can set a specific time. We'll say 11 a.m. We could set it to repeat, and if we do that, we could have it repeat every day. We could have it repeat once a week, month, year, on specific days and times. We won't use that for this particular task. Now you can add a subtask as well. Like for example, if you want to say, make sure to comment on video. Okay, so got that added in. No, we don't need that. So now we have a task and a subtask. And again, the link to the specific email. Now let's look over in our Google Calendar. Now you see it's now populated over here on April 18th. If you click on that, watch Simple Ideas new video. And you can click on this, it will open a new tab with that particular email right from your calendar. You don't even have to go back to the inbox. And there it is. And then it will load up your task list as well. So we come back over here to the calendar. Let's say we want to make some edits on it without having to go back into our inbox. Well, we can do that right here. We can view the related email or we can get rid of it if we don't want the email connected to it anymore. Change it to a different task folder. Change the description. Close that out. Let's say we want to bump this back to a later time that day. So all we do is click and drag. It will now go towards 1 p.m. Now if we come back to our task list here. Let's open this up again. Click on that. We'll now see that it changed in here. So whatever changes you make on the calendar will be reflected here in the inbox version. Now let's say we want to create a new list. So we'll just click create new list. We'll just say YouTube videos done. Okay, there's our new list. All you have to do is add a task manually or again, come over to our inbox and drag one over, and there we've got one there in the new list. I'll just swap between the lists, just click on that, and get back to your tasks. So, if we want to switch this over to the YouTube video list, it's very simple. Just do that, and now we should see two tasks on our 
YouTube list. Let's say we want to set it to the same day, April 18th. We'll set it to 1.30 p.m. Click OK. Come over here to calendar. It might take a minute for it to populate in your calendar. If you don't want to wait on that, then you can just refresh the page and it will now show up on April 18th. There it is. This is my other task that I did. So that's how you use tasks in Gmail. I'll show you what it looks like collapsed. You can collapse it down if you want to focus in on your emails again. All you have to do is click here and that will open up the sidebar for you to interact with your tasks. A couple of days ago, I was interviewed by the Real Bearded Businessman. Here's his channel. Be sure to go over and subscribe to him and watch this video. I will have the link in the description below. He focuses in on entrepreneurs and how to grow wealth independently. So be sure to subscribe to him, check out his other videos, and especially this interview that he did with me this week. That you can learn a little bit more about my name, the Handy Hudsonite. I go into some detail as, as to where I, uh, I was inspired to have that name. So be sure to watch that video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you in learning how to become more productive with Google Tasks. Again, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video.